Okay, so let's just, this video is just going to be kind of like a review and then a couple of fun facts right here and there, but if you already understand all the stuff, you don't have to watch it. So this is kind of a comparison of all the steps that we have in the, both the alternative, the lectin, and then the classical complement pathways. So <clears throat> what initiates the serine protease in all three of these is alternative it's the factor D remember like an axe it cleaves it in the lectin pathway it's the MASP MASP uh, cleaves himself and then in the classical pathway it is C1S and then here this is a diagram on this side here um, talking about the relationship where C1S and MASP are homologous they have very similar genetic structures um, for covalent binding to the cell surface we have C3 beta and C4 beta and once again they're homologous, right? They both have the thio... Oh, you can't see that. Maybe you can. That's a C. I don't know. So both C3 beta and C4 beta, or both C3 and C4, have that internal thioester bond that upon cleavage becomes exposure and then has opened itself up to nucleophile attack. The C3, C5 convertase, and in the alternative pathway, it is the factor B beta subunit um, for the most part as the, I guess, the base part of it here. Um, but for the lectin and classical pathway, it's C2 alpha, uh, which kind of seems confusing. You're like, well, wait a minute, it's, it, alpha is a small. Remember with C2, alpha and this, both C2 alpha and factor B are homologous. They're very, very, very similar. So for the control of the actual activation parts, well, in the alternative pathway, it's CR1 is the actual, the actual uh, complement receptor 1, which is the part of the activation here. Um, but that's not really so much important as the, uh, I guess, controlling of the activation here. Uh, but in this, so much as it is here, we talk about CR1 and then C4 uh, beta. And then these are also considered identical homo homologs. For opsonization, they both have C3 uh, beta, but you could also include C4 beta, also acts similarly as an opsonin. Initiation of the effector pathway, in other words, initiation of the membrane attack complex, it's C5 uh, beta, right? Local inflammation, C5 alpha and C3 alpha, those are both anaphylatoxins. I could also include C4 alpha if I wanted to be really specific here. And then stabilization is by preparedin which is sometimes called factor P, which, remember, blocks, uh, or it doesn't necessarily block it, but it protects it, shields it from degradation of uh, enzymes that would want to destroy the C3 convertases. Um, but for the other two, they don't really have that. That's a kind of a unique structure to those. Okay. So this is just a, another overview of the native proteins and then the active components. So C5 is going to be cleaved into alpha and beta. I is a anaphylatoxin, which is why we have inflammation here. Beta is going to initiate assembly of the MAC. C6 through C8, remember what I call those? I called those the anchor. Anchor. C9 polymerizes, um, and this is what I call the drill. There's no, no sense in really reviewing that in too much depth. So, we are, I have talked about complement uh, control proteins and complement regulation. I've talked about each and every one of these except for a select few. So the ones that I haven't talked about in much detail would be this, CR1. This is going to bind to C4 beta, displacing C2 alpha. Remember, that's the same thing as factor B. Or C3 beta, displacing the beta factor B, uh, cofactor for I. That's, the steps in aren't superbly important so much as you understand that it's inhibiting this process here. C4 binding protein, C4B, this is going to bind to this, uh, binds to C4 beta, displacing C2 alpha. Uh, the cofactor for C4 beta cleavage by I. So very, <laughs> uh, remember C2 alpha, factor B beta, very similar. And then we have the C1 initiator, and I'm sorry, C1 inhibitor. Man, I am just out of it today. This is going to bind to the activated, the activated C1R and C1S, and it's going to actually remove them from the C1Q, the, the polypeptide, so it, it can't uh, undergo that cleavage reaction that's going to help it make it in the active form. And it's also going to inhibit the 
MASP2 uh, removing it from the mannose binding lectin. So in this context, C4 can't be cleaved, and if C4 and C2 both can't be cleaved. And so that's just kind of an overview of that. Okay, um, last thing that we'll talk about, <coughs> I promise we're almost done here, would be just some fun facts of, of each and every one of these receptors. So CR1, its specificity is for C3-beta and C4-beta in the inactive form. Um, this is just going to undergo phagocytosis, uh, erythrocyte transport, and then other, other immune complexes. It's represented by a whole spectrum of cells. Complement receptor 2, um, has a whole lot of specificity, including the Epstein-Barr virus, which what's interesting is that B cells actually have complement receptor 2. Epstein-Barr is what causes mono, which I think it's interesting how people treat mono as it's so benign, it's just, you know, everyone gets it. That infects your B cells. You're, you're not able to make antibodies when you have mono. I, I you know, people thought that was causing AIDS at, when the, at, at certain parts of it. Well, now the Epstein-Barr, but cytomegalovirus. But anyways, um, complement receptor 3, IC3 beta stimulates phagocytosis. Also remember that it's an integrin. Uh, complement receptor 4 does the exact same thing. Remember in the videos we didn't really bother distincting uh, CR3 from CR4 because the book doesn't. Um, C rig, this is uh, and going to bind to C3 beta and then also the inactive form of C3 beta, which is cleaved um, further by our cells, but on the pathogen surface, this is all that it results in. Um, <clears throat> This is going to undergo phagocytosis. C5 alpha receptor um, binding to C5 activates G protein, which causes a signal transduction pathway for endothelial cells, mast cells, and phagocytes, which results in anaphylaxis, anaphylotoxins, right? C3 alpha does the exact same thing. So um, that's, that's nothing new, <laughs> new there.